What's your thing? What's your thing that's blocking your manifestation? That's what we're gonna talk about this week. Stick around and let's get into it. Hi, and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. My name is Veronica, and if this is your first time here, welcome. It's nice to meet you. I talk about easy, practical spirituality, intentional living, and all of the things that you need to know to navigate your spiritual awakening. So if this interests you, please hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. And make sure you hit the bell icon as well because YouTube has not been notifying people or putting it on their feeds. It's not been putting my videos out as much lately, so I don't want you to miss anything. Hit the bell. So I was just texting with my friend Michelle. Hey girl. And she was talking about her manifestation and how she's been meditating a lot. She's got a bra full of crystals. Like <laughs> she's trying to work on that manifestation. And I had said, this immediately came to my mind and it's something that I learned about years ago. And so help me, I cannot remember where, probably a YouTube video somewhere. And um, so if this was you that taught this to me, thank you. And um, anyways, what I told her was, if I say to you, you, don't answer me out loud, but if I say to you, what's that thing that you know you've been procrastinating on? It's constantly nagging at the back of your mind. Every time you rest, you're like, Ugh, every day it's just there. You need to take care of it. You're avoiding it. You're procrastinating on it. What is it? Every single one of us will typically have something that pops into our mind. So what's your thing? Because even if your energy around the thing you're wanting to manifest is on point, if you have anything in your energy field that is that frustrating, avoiding energy, that dread energy, it's gonna affect your manifestations. So what's your thing? I was telling her that my thing is this bathroom. Every single day, I usually have at least one thought of, I need to go clean the bathroom because I usually procrastinate on it because I hate cleaning the bathroom. So I procrastinate on it until it's like, I can't even stand myself. I mean, you've seen my house. It doesn't get that dirty, but to me, it gets dirty. Cause like there was a point in time where I cleaned my bathroom every day because I'm a clean freak. And now I'm like, every day I'm like, oh, I've got to go clean the bathroom. Oh, I don't feel like cleaning the bathroom. I hate being in that bathroom because I need to paint that bathroom. And then I go down this rabbit hole of, I really need to paint that bathroom. I can't believe I've been in this house a year and a half and I've never painted the bathroom. The paint is literally sitting in the garage. What am I waiting for? Well, in order to paint, I have to address the baseboards because the baseboards are all jacked up. So in order to paint, I have to address the baseboards. I don't know what I wanna do with the baseboards. And then in order to paint, I have to move the cabinet that's behind the toilet, but they kind of have it wrapped around the plumbing line. So I need to know what to do with that first. And then I need to make sure I have silicone tape to reattach the plumbing because while I have the plumbing off, I might as well replace the toilet seat that I bought and never put on. And while I'm at it, I can put the bidet on that I have and have never put on. So anyways, do you see how I completely avoid the bathroom every day because I go down this dread rabbit hole, this dread hole of cleaning the bathroom, painting the bathroom, basically bathroom renovation. And my mind just goes and I end up procrastinating on it. But it's always there every single day. So if I would just get my ass in that bathroom and start tackling little projects and know that it doesn't have to be all done all at one time and it doesn't have to be perfect we could take it in stages and that it's manageable and stop procrastinating on it and dreading it and building it up as something bigger in my mind than it needs to be and just start tackling it that dread would go away that nagging at the back of my mind would go away and my manifestations would probably be way better way more on point do you know what i'm saying so what's your thing what's your dread hole 
Anyways, give it some thought. That might help you. All right, you guys, until next time.